In this video, I will show how to use formulas for vehicle routes, how to change the vehicle's route and assign them a different route if uh, according to, uh, to an attribute during the simulation. And I will demonstrate that in an example where I have trucks on a motorway and I have a weighing station where they need to get using an off-ramp, they will stop there and I use an off-ramp to get back. So what I've done, I increased the number for the lane changing distance, this figure up to 700, so that allows vehicles uh, far in advance upstream to start changing lanes if they drive up like in this lane for example. I added vehicle input of heavies and I need to add a static route. I add it quite far ahead there. I duplicate it and I drag it up to the ramp. So now I have two identical ones, one using the ramp and the other one uses the main line. Here, route choice method, I switch it to formula and I will use a formula to calculate the relative flow. A formula for each route. In this one, if a truck is more than a certain weight, let's say 30 tons, I will send them here, so I will make this one. And in the same time, with this formula, I make this zero. And the other way around, when the vehicle is less than 30 tons. If you go to the weight distribution weight for HGVs, they have a distribution between 2.8 tons to 40 tons. And uh, the weight attribute for vehicles only active for trucks or the HGV vehicles. Um, <laughs> so if you go back to the decision, we have the formula we need to add it. So what happens, I showed you before what are these. So basically this will give you an attribute. Here you can select the attribute. Here you select the operators. Here you can get some functions. We will need the if. It's a table lookup and brackets. We are not going to use those. We just use an if to keep things simple. <laughs> so what it does, here it's uh, the condition, here what happens if it's true, what happens if it was. And that this value or this value is the relative flow basically. So we go for the, I just let me keep clear. Um, so we can't see the weight here yet. What we need to do is we need to go to the vehicle and as a sort of sub attribute, go down to find weight. It also says that the weight distribution are only active for vehicle types of category HGV. So I just insert it by double clicking on it. <laughs> and then I just, so this is the route going into the measuring side, the weighing station. So what I do, if it is more than 30 tons, then this should be one. So the relative flow should be one. And if it is less than 30 tons, so if this is false, it should be zero. I copy paste it because we need to add basically the same formula here, just the other way around. So this main line, they should go to the main line, on the main line, if they are less than that. So if it is true, this should be zero and this should be one. So if it is more than 30 tons for this route, that would be false. So then it should be one. So the relative flow will be one. Okay. And basically, I think that's it. So let me just save and run it. Okay, it is a bit fast. But we can see, so I added a label here. So I show the weight. 
wait. It's 36 tons, so that's in the right spot. This one is 20 tons, so that guy just keep driving. That's another 33, so that should exit. Yeah. And whenever they go through this, you can see um, that when they pass, basically, then they get the, the uh, relative flow, and then they will get assigned a new route. <coughs> So this didn't get assigned the route going into the weighing station, but to remain outside. So with these, you can basically build quite a simple way. So it is quite a simple way with this to build some uh, situations like this or to deal with such situations. It can make your life easier if you have such a thing. And again, this can be used for all kinds of stuff. So this is like just the simplest one. But if you look at it, you can check on the static vehicle route some some uh, attributes here you can use if you want. Um, for vehicles, you can check against the model acceleration, animations with clearances. For example, if they um, follow the other vehicle too closely maybe and you want the police uh, you want to simulate some police uh, stops you can then send them out um, or you know any like if you want to simulate like a speed cam or something that measures uh, something or like the speed <laughs> if this is a speed cam then you can uh, make direct them out uh, maybe for a police check anything like that and again like vehicle type waiting duration, spacing, all kinds of like delay times, public transport, um, information, paths, platoons, <sighs> parking, occupancy, so all kinds of stuff. You can use everything um, to do to do this. And you can of course over -com complicate it um, and make uh, more complex formulas. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or any recommendations for future videos.